And what might be called McClellan's fateful death is precisely in sense that technology really? contains a really this deeply paradoxical yeah, story, it's still it's unsettled, still unfinished, of like augmentation and diminution, like, so of expansion is, and impoverishment right. simultaneously. The Kingston has amplified it even anticipatory becoming the basis of a new way of understanding for myself the real world of digital technology. Of Einstein's dream. We are living after all, just beyond the centennial of the publication of Einstein's special theory of relativity. Since Einstein and the clone was conscious of this, the world has been riding the beam of light. Not only traveling at the speed of light as the space time fabric of the universe is increasingly wrapped in the language of electronic technologies and communication, but something fundamentally different than any other period of central history. Thanks to iPods and wearable computers and Blackberries and iris scanners and cell phones and instant messaging, the speed of light has now actually entered the deepest, most interior space-time fabric of the body, the politics of culture, economy, and society. What was once only a thought experiment in Einstein's mind as he trudged daily to work in the back and office of Burn has now become everybody's deepest digital reality, the essence of our digital subjectivity. The future, I believe, of the 21st century will surely unfold in form of the new digital reality being established by what astrophysicists have described as a worldwide walk like this whole lot of time in uh, space. Yeah. In digital reality, we are living on the tip of Einstein's beam of light, with all its clashing possibilities for justice and for evil. Now Einstein's special theory of relativity ushered us in immediately, ubiquitously, and without much Forefront into a quantum age in which only opposite changes of state coexist. Light, in terms of physical reality, is both waveform and packet simultaneously. But it has implications. At the speed of light, time actually slows and bends and reverses its direction. But sometimes it even begins to travel backwards. The fabric of space time is cosmological. And the space time is folded, it's curved, it's deeply elliptical. We are cosmological, empirically and practically living today in the age of quantum metaphysics. We are living in the bends of time. We are often unsure which direction is fast forward or which direction is back slide. According to quantum physics, paradox is a new reality principle. And the principle of uncertainty, the only constant in the universe of accelerating change. After Einstein, we are literally quantum personalities, living in the stardust and galactic debris. The lower distant universe accelerating at really high velocities. Now, the special importance I believe of Martin was his really authentic visionary sense to understand so immediately, so probably to place it in writing, the sense, his sense of the proof of Einstein's cosmology. That's the phone's death. The field of technology would always be a dynamic, artistic field of absolutely opposite tendencies, augmentation, and encouragement. So then, the challenge, how to express new relations of digital communication in the language of the digital imagination, in the language of new media theory, in digital design, in artistic vision, in the language of the creation of new software codes, how to stream the digital imagination in a way that's fully revelatory, the creative possibilities of a future that objectively material struggles to become open source and mobile and fluid and peer-to-peer and multiple and remix and recombinant and streaming and hybrid and flash and migratory and may I say it deeply relativistic. We do know that all the great referential unities of modernism have now been blasted away with the speed and volume of the beat of torrent. That's an objective fact. The big blast of the electronic storms literally evaporated that the conceptual horizon of modernism. 
pass me yet persist. But conceptual average is all the more powerful because of the one present out of the real time behind. So the future will not belong will not long be denied. We are today. We are now arriving at the galactic vortex of the splitting apart of space time. There's digital dirt in our eyes, and we are collectively rocked by the turbulence of the death of one modernist world and the birth of another, the world of the digital imagination. And the future will not long be eclipsed. Riders of the digital storm, we are truly navigators of unsettling. Born in the age of quantum physics, we negotiate paradox as our chosen way of life. Coming to maturity in the epoch of light through time and light through space, we are now mendicants of indeterminacy. We have always been economically copyrighted and undermined by peer to peer file transfers. Politically, exclusive ownership has been dethroned by creative remixes of the data stream. Culturally, time and space have been dissolved in the space time fabric of the infosphere by blogging, by texting, by social networking. Historically, collective memory has been rendered fully uncertain by the recombinant and really creative recombinant possibilities of these massive data archives. Surely, surely, the future belongs to the digital Medina. What's required to claim the digital dream, the digital prize, is in the end something as traditional as it is fully unorthodox. Mainly to create a new way of thinking that is both fully revelatory of the streaming possibilities of the atmosphere, but aware of the language of technology as a of impoverishment. Mobility is speed, migratory knowledge, open source, and remixing data for streaming communication. These are the new software codes of a digital imagination, which will bridge the future of digital media for the past of human culture. Now we do know this. We already live in a future fast forward by the digital imagination. We live in a effortlessly pursued by light speed. Open source for us is not just a technical term describing a form of software codes. It's a deep animating political vision, which is animating and inspiring an entire generation of digital players. The cells and iPods and iPhones and watchers. We finally, finally have a form of communication I, I, uh, equal to the quantum singularities uh, of our deepest personalities. Uh, we don't simply live in network culture, we actually have evolved network brands, we have digital, brands. 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 We have digital yeah. brands. brands. Linked to other nomads yeah. along the digital way and have to have the groups and cultural signs indecipherable, oblivious to modernist outsiders. Texting literally streams through the tips of our fingers to layers of light that illuminate the darkest recesses of human consciousness. The deep immersion of gaming mimics and reverse image the soul society. The speed of eye communication locks the inertia of the body. Perceptually, we are hyper. Biologically, we remain beautiful primitives. Full convergence of data and bodies has not yet taken place, and perhaps really, it never should. Altered states, I believe, are the new desiderata. If the world grew or it's suddenly materially and physically and scientifically quantum, then why not a quantum imagination as well?